Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I want to go over how to update the payment history per each insurance company so that the computer is tracking a more accurate estimate for you. So if we can start by going to your patient list, we'll pull up our, one of our patients, Lyndon Johnson, and we'll just go to his ledger. We have two charges that are currently outstanding. We have a Profi and an FMX. Those two items have already been billed out to insurance as we can see because we have the option to view or print his claim. So let's say we get the EOB back in the mail with the check. If we go ahead and select new insurance check payment, we're gonna go ahead and plug in a check number and the amount that we are paying towards this date of service for the patient. Let's go ahead and say 175 is what got paid and we'll distribute that money here looking at the EOB entry screen, we can see our two service codes there and the fee that we charged out. The insurance is estimated to pay $79 towards the 98 of the Profi and 99 towards the 105 of the FMX. This is based on the current information attached to Delta Dental, which could just be the PPO fee schedule that you attach to Delta. However, it can be based on old history as well from someone that previously had Delta Dental, and perhaps with the new year coming, they update the fees that they're paying now. So I can click Distribute to Estimate, and basically in doing so, I'm sending the $79 towards the $79 estimate for the $98 item, and then $96 towards the $99 insurance estimate. However, you always want to verify that this information is put in properly based on the EOB in hand, not based on the computer's estimate. In order to make the computer's estimate a little more accurate, you'll notice here that on one of these items, the two numbers match and we do not have a green dot. On the other item, the two numbers do not match and we do have a green dot. This green dot with the I in it is basically a link to update the insurance information to tell the computer that for this Delta Dental Plan of Arizona, DEL00, the new payment amount is actually $96 for the D0210, not the $99 that it's estimating. So if I want to update my payment history for this Delta Dental Plan, all I have to do is click on that green dot with the I in it. We then get a message that says the payment amount does not match the previous payment amount from the insurance. Do we want to update the expected payment amount for this charge? We're going to go ahead and say yes. Now, if this is a situation where the insurance paid less because it was some obscure plan that happened to be tied to Delta Dental for billing purposes, you would generally want to say no and only update the insurance information when you feel comfortable knowing that that's going to be correct information for the majority of the people tied to that plan. So in this case, we'll say yes. And now our little green dot has gone away. We can go ahead and post our payments and close our claim at this point. Since we did post $175 of our total check there, we can see one claim is marked as paid. We'll click OK. And we've distributed our full $175 of the check that we've received. If I close out of there and then jump over to the patient's insurance plan, that little I crosses over to the payment history tab within the Delta Dental plan. So if I click on Delta, we can see payment information. And here we have our D0210, and it now shows $96 is our estimated payment amount instead of the 99 previously listed. And then our Profi stayed the same. Delta Dental of Arizona is estimated to pay $79 every time that D1110 gets posted. So if you're curious where those numbers are coming from, it's coming from the payment information. And if you don't have any payment information or history in the system already, it's gonna be coming from your insurance fee schedule that is listed in here in our fee schedule list under Delta Dental PPO. If we edit that fee schedule and scroll down to find our D0210, this is the original amount that the computer would estimate this item gets paid at because we have the insurance paying that at 100%. However, that amount gets overridden 
by whatever is attached to the payment information because this is true history for that insurance plan. An alternative to that quick link I when posting your EOB to update the information, you can come to the insurance plan section manually as we just did a moment ago. Come to the payment information tab and then you can click add payment history from your options menu. You can go ahead and punch in your code and then put in the amount that you'd like to to indicate what Delta is going to pay. If I put in 326 for this D2750 for a crown and we can close out of that screen, go to somebody's chart and we'll go ahead and treatment plan for that code, the D2750. Here's our D2750 for tooth number 29. I can see our fee for that is $1,000. If we pull up our treatment estimate for that planned item, we can see here that the insurance estimate is showing 326. And again, that's based on the payment history that I put into that Delta Dental plan. The computer has now overridden any manual calculation it would have come up with for a 50% figure of this $1,000 and put in that 326 based on true payment history. If you have any further questions where the payment history or payment information crosses over, please feel free to give Dentamax a call at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.